Hello, Douglas County. Welcome to a special edition of a new show that we're beginning. DC TV 23 weekly update on COVID-19. I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations. And I'm Communications and Media Specialist, Lena Hardy. Thank you for joining us. On Wednesday, April 8th, Governor Brian Kemp announced plans to extend Georgia's shelter in place order through April 30th and Georgia's public health state of emergency through May 13th. To read the full press release on this announcement, please visit CelebrateDouglasCounty.com. COVID-19 has greatly impacted the state of Georgia. And according to the Georgia Situation Report, as of April 8th at 115, Douglas County has 122 confirmed cases, and sadly, five of our own citizens have passed away due to the virus. On behalf of the chairman and board of commissioners, we'd like to send our sincere condolences to those individuals affected by the virus and their families. Are you experiencing symptoms related to COVID-19? Do you think you need to be tested? Well, Cobb and Douglas Public Health will be conducting drive-through testing by appointment only here in Douglas County, specifically at the city of Douglasville's Hunter Park, beginning Friday, April 10th. Look for my co-host Rick Martin's special one-on-one -on -one interview with Dr. Meemark, director of the Cobb and Douglas Public Health on our Douglas County Happenings Facebook page. Thank you. Speaking of Cobb and Douglas Public Health, Deputy Director Lisa Crossman made a presentation during Tuesday's Board of Commissioners virtual meeting, which she updated the board on evidence of widespread community transmission and testing eligibility guidelines for the state. Georgia Emergency Management Agency released a Georgia COVID-19 emotional support line, which provides 24-7 free and confidential assistance to callers needing emotional support or research information as a result of COVID-19 pandemic. The emotional support line is staffed by volunteers, including mental health professionals and others who have received training in crisis counseling. The number for the emotional support line is 866-399-8938. You know, just in, uh, just moments ago, we received word from the Secretary of State Mr. Brad Raffensperger, he made an announcement that he is postponing the statewide general primary and the presidential preference primary election until June 9th, June 9th. So again, for citizens watching, uh, Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger has announced that he's postponing the statewide general primary and presidential preference primary election until June 9th. So um, it's important to just make sure the election is continuing but it's been delayed. And speaking of election, uh, one of the important things that you should be receiving uh, in your mail if you haven't, this week the Secretary of State's office has sent out uh, an application for an official absentee ballot for residents for the, for the primary that I just announced. Uh, coming in your bail, mailbox, please look for it. If you didn't cast your ballot during advanced voting, be sure to complete the information on the application to ensure you're able to vote. Also, be sure to complete the 2020 census for your household. The CDC is recommending the use of a cloth face covering while being in public to help prevent the spread of COVID-19. The cloth face covering can be a t-shirt, scarf, or bandana. Be creative. Just remember to cover your nose and mouth to help maintain your health and the health of others. Thank you so much, Lena. Chairman Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones and the Board of Commissioners have been working diligently to protect the well being of Douglas County citizens. In fact, just yesterday, the chairman was part of a conference call with the White House, Department of Interior for state and local leaders on COVID 19. The primary focus of the call was on federal agency guidance and implementation of the Coronavirus Aid, Relief, and Economic Securities Act. Now, this is more commonly known as the CARES Act. Each district commissioner recorded a PSA regarding COVID-19, urging the community to practice social distancing, wash hands consistently, and stay home if they are not feeling well. You can watch each of these PSAs on DCTV23 YouTube channel 
also District 3 Commissioner Terenia Carthen and First Baptist Church of Douglasville have partnered with Atlanta Community Food Bank to bring the public a drive through community food giveaway on April 17th at 1 p.m. at First Baptist Church on Presley Mill Road. The first 100 cars will receive food. District 4 Commissioner Ann jones Guider and District 3 Commissioner Terania Carthen conducted their Fire and EMS Committee meeting. Uh, which we streamed live on our Facebook and DCTV23 Facebook page. Critical information came out of this. What was really important was none of our first responders have tested positive for COVID-19 thus far, according to Chief uh, Scott Spencer, uh, the Department of Fire and EMS Chief for Douglas County. Again, none of our first responders have tested positive for COVID-19 thus far. Douglas County, Please remain informed and follow our daily updates on CelebrateDouglasCounty.com, our Douglas County Happenings Facebook page, our DCTV23 Facebook page, as well as our special specific COVID-19 Douglas County response page, website page, produced by our GIS department. Thank you for watching. See you next week.